This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delaware Electric Cooperative. You know, when it comes to electricity, we really don't think much about it. We walk into a room, we flip a switch, and boom, we got lights. You turn on your hairdryer, boom, you got warm air. You mash a few buttons in the microwave, boom, in no time you got a warm lunch. Well, today we're going to take a few minutes to go back in time when our friends at the Delaware Electric Cooperative came up with this concept to better the lives of people living in rural parts of Delaware. It's a concept that actually to this very moment is paying off as we hear from the co-op's Jeremy Tucker. In 1936, Delaware Electric Cooperative was founded to bring the life-changing benefits of electricity to rural parts of Delaware. The co-op transformed the Delaware countryside. Barns and homes that once sat dark at night began shining brightly as a new era was ushered in for rural Delaware. All of a sudden, we had lights everywhere. And I thought there were, it was just one up, one up overhead. And mom said, we got them, Bob, we got them. The co-op's mission to provide safe, reliable, and affordable electricity has endured for 82 years. We've developed groundbreaking programs to keep our rates the lowest in the first state, innovations that are being used by utilities across the country. We've hardened our system so members lose power less often. And our dedicated service to members has earned the co-op one of the highest customer satisfaction scores in the nation. For Delaware Electric Cooperative, this is just the beginning. Rapid changes are underway that will transform the way we travel and consume electricity. It's an energy revolution. I think easily five years we're going to see 25% of the cars on our territory driven by the retirees that have moved into our area be electric vehicles. To prepare for this change, the co-op has launched an EV charging pilot program. We're evaluating how EVs are impacting the grid and we'll use the data to design programs that ensure our system can keep up with demand without increasing costs. Battery storage will also play a role in the grid of tomorrow. When we look at using batteries, what we're trying to do is we're trying to say, okay, how do we take a single, a single item like a battery and use it against multiple items. How do we make it pay for itself by balancing it against peak shifting, voltage correction, um, reliability? Can we store the battery when energy is really cheap and then discharge the batteries when energy is really expensive? A new broadband loop is also helping our linemen restore power faster. The fiber lines are connected to devices in the field that can now automatically restore power to members. There are other benefits too. So along with the reliability benefit that comes with this new fiber, we're also hoping that it will spur an economic development boom in the areas that we serve, which in turn will bring new jobs as well as a more reliable internet for all of our members. The co-op is even using new software that can help to predict where trees may pose a threat to co-op power lines. So we're going to have drones flying our distribution system doing a survey and they're going to have infrared cameras looking for hot spots which could be potential equipment failures and they're also going to be looking for trees that can potentially come in contact with our lines which could cause an outage. The data that we get will be on our mapping system and we'll know where the potential hazards are for tree contact and we'll be able to send that data to our tree trimming crews to clear those areas up. We're creating the utility of tomorrow, where empowered consumers will help keep electric rates low. A system where battery storage and clean, renewable energy are used to create microgrids. An electrical system that is so advanced, it can help heal itself. The future is almost here, and Delaware Electric Cooperative is ready. Well, that's Jeremy Tucker. You know, f where it's come from and where it's going to is absolutely incredible. I don't think you could put it better than to say an energy revolution.